Hi everyone, welcome to this new episode of Into Oblivion. And in this episode, we will be taking a look into the world of content creation around cloud and a deep dive into the Community Builders program. And for this topic, I have two guests at the table. Um, Ivo, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Ivo, Ivo van Zee. I'm working for Oblivion now for f four and a half years. Uh, been selected for the Community Builder program uh, last year, so uh, yeah, glad to talk about that uh, nice. a bit. Nice, welcome. And Andres, also welcome to the table. Yeah, thank you. Well, my name is Andres. Um, I've been wor working with Oblivion, I think, for about 15 years now, uh, and mainly focused on uh, cloud-native software development and, uh, and the data part of Oblivion. Yeah. Cool, nice. Well, welcome both. Um, so yeah, a bit of background already introduced, but uh, what are you guys working on currently? Yeah, so uh, we are well primarily developing cloud native applications on AWS. Um, so we do that for a broad set of customers, and well, we really focus on building serverless applications uh, with a focus on scalability and uh, and low operations. Yeah. Cool, nice. Yeah, you, Ivo. Uh, myself, I'm working for a client at the moment in the banking industry. Uh, big. Uh, bank in uh, well in the world basically um, helping them with creating a data platform in AWS uh, so they're now uh, hosting it on-premise and uh, well we're helping them to build it in AWS uh, with uh, mostly um, cloud native solutions managed solutions mm. so yeah nice yeah and you mentioned the community builders program Can yeah you, uh, maybe explain a bit more what that is all about uh yeah so last year uh well, beginning of this year actually um i was selected uh, after a procedure where you have to uh, sign in for yourself uh to the community builders program and basically what you need to do is um, uh, enlist uh, how you help the community building on aws uh, so that could be uh, with the writing blogs, making videos, uh, doing presentations, uh, yeah, whatever mm -hmm. is in your comfort zone. And with that, um, you uh, apply a form, and uh, I believe 150 people got selected okay. all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's yeah, it's basically a co community for the community uh, to help. Um, people built on AWS. So mm. what you see is a lot of uh, creating of content. Uh, myself, um, I'm selected for the DevOps. Um, yeah. Uh, track. Track kind of uh, aspect uh, way. Mm -hmm. um, there's also serverless, uh, cloud native development as well. Um, uh, I believe even uh, containers. Um, yeah. and. Um, uh, what I mentioned, uh, I think it's now, I don't know the numbers, but it's over the 300 people in the world um, creating content, uh, pairing up with each other. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's a, it's a program with benefits as well. Uh, so uh, you have to sign for an uh, NDA uh, mm -hmm. and then you are uh, getting exclusive content uh, from AWS. So uh, think of uh, new services released and all those kind of things, mm -hmm. uh, but also webinars created by um, AWS peers or solution architects. Um, so webinars, briefings, uh, but also uh, we get credits for AWS to get, uh, yeah, what what you might want to blog about uh, to uh, create something in real life in mm -hmm. AWS. Mm -hmm. uh, also training. Um, in for I believe it's Cloud Academy. You can uh, use their that for a year long. Uh, of course, swag always comes with swag. Very important. Uh, I got a coffee cup, uh, a bag, uh, a cap, and some stickers. Of course. Nice. Uh, yeah, and and uh, various discounts. So I think of uh, discounts, for example, to reinvent and mm. all those kind of things. Cool. But uh, yeah, it's quite a cool program. Nice. Yeah. So you wrote a lot of uh, CDK blogs the yeah. last year. How, what kind of role did those play into this whole uh, community building? Well, that was one of the part that uh, which got me selected for the developer program mm -hmm. track of uh, of the community builders. 
uh, as I mentioned before, I'm working for a bank at this moment, mm -hmm. uh, building a um, data uh, platform with CDK in AWS. Uh, yeah, and I'm mostly blogging on yeah real life uh, experiences, so uh, problems I encounter, but also. Uh, we're I'm working for an enterprise, and security uh, is a big thing there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, for example, I created a blog on uh, uh, securing your pipelines with uh, simple constructs. Yeah, and that's, those kind of things help with uh, with community uh, builder program. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, as you mentioned, like a lot of real life uh, real life examples go into your blogs. Uh, is it something that you both recognize that you like to write about? Uh, to really use something that can be reproduced or is uh, apl applicable in a real-life situation? Yeah, well, it makes it a lot easier, at least, to uh, find your topics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for me, personally, uh, yeah, either it's something that I, well, uh, that I come across uh, during one of the, uh, the, the projects. Um, for instance, uh, well, the blog post, I think, about uh, glue interactive sessions, etc. We were doing a lot of glue pipeline development and well, it wasn't always as smooth as you would want. Um, yeah, so there I, well, we started uh, looking at some other options and then we came across those interactive sessions and, well, I thought, well, this is a cool, fun thing to actually blog about mm -hmm. since it might help other people improve their developer experience yeah. as well. So, um, yeah, and sometimes it's just about questions you hear a lot from, I don't know, the different customers, like, uh, well, uh, security and then related to data, that's always a big topic, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, yeah or, or uh, new uh, features that come out, uh, well, especially around reInvent or the big summits, uh, like uh, the, the Amplify blog, that mm -hmm. was really just something like, okay, this could be something really helpful for other customers, mm -hmm. might not be directly helpful for us, but still a fun new thing to, yeah. to blog about, yeah. So, so yeah, what point of your experience with a certain topic do you feel comfortable writing about it? Or do you combine it with a lot of research as well? Um, yeah, so, well, when you come across it in your project, of course, that's easy because then you often already get a lot of experience with it. But mm -hmm. yeah, so for instance, the Amplify uh, Studio thing, uh, the subject, yeah, there I thought, well, let's just dive in, let's go through some walkthroughs and, and, and experiment a bit. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it was really experimenting myself, reading up and stuff like that. Uh, and sometimes it's just something you, you, know, you came across and, and you can yeah. just write about. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it, it also depends on uh, your kind of uh, audience, right? So yeah. sometimes uh, you write an article, uh, let's call it my first bucket, mm -hmm. uh, explaining the basics. And sometimes you do a deep dive more example. Yeah. And then you can also say, uh, yeah, okay, this is uh, the prerequisites you need uh, concerning knowledge. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and what are some good places for you both to find additional knowledge or close some gaps that you might not have known before? Well, of course, you have Google. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Google a lot. Um, yeah, and also just testing stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes you have an ID and uh, what Anders already mentioned, uh, sometimes you have it already in the field in place but then you still need to anonymize it or something so you rethink about it a bit and then uh, structure your story a bit that it's uh, um, understandable for uh, less taggies or something mm -hmm. to say uh, so that they can follow it uh, because sometimes you have the tunnel vision right if you already know your uh, services uh, well enough uh, that, that you sk could skip steps for mm -hmm. uh, people who don't have that experience. Uh, so yeah, it's basically um, starting it all over again and then, yeah, uh, let, let a colleague or uh, someone else uh, review it. That always helps. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, or uh, I like to do, uh, well, when a new feature get launched, I'll just dive into the first blog post they often release mm -hmm. and then just dive into documentation or sometimes there's already someone that already did a deep dive on YouTube or reInvent or whatever. That's always really helpful to get started at least as well. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. For me, I learn the most when just trying to hit the, let's say the limits. So where does it break or yeah, 
what yeah. can they do yet? Mm. Because yeah, they often release something, let's say MVP or small, and then yeah, okay. So what is there still to come? Yeah, yeah what are the types of uh, moment, moments or events that you really uh, wait for when they announce new features? Is it like really the reinvent uh, spree, or is there something in between? Yeah, so of course reinvent and the big summits, like I already said, yeah, those are the big moments, let's say, of a lot of new features. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think during the entire year you see new features coming out. So. Yeah, and also when something is uh, general available or something, it yeah. could also be somewhere midweek or something, and then mm. uh, you find the, what you mentioned, the first blog post about it, and then go testing it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And what are your ways, your favorite ways to consume content? If you're, well, we, of course, we did reading up, but are there like any podcasts or other video materials that you really have at hand at those um, times? Yeah, so um, my focus is most on the CDK s spectrum. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's also a Slack community on uh, on that, uh, CDK Dev, mm -hmm. uh, which has also a lot of, uh, yeah, mostly it's, it's uh, problem and so solutions uh, combined. So uh, you read up on something and someone asks a question on, hey, uh, I'm trying this and this and this, and it doesn't work, can someone help me out? Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of people who, come with solutions and yeah that's a way how you can uh, think of uh, yeah a future blog posts or something mm. uh, but I'm mostly on the reading part sometimes videos but yeah uh, that's yeah that's not the sometimes they're, they're a bit slow yeah, yeah. indeed yeah. yeah so you have to skip into a 1.5 speed or something no. uh, and yeah I haven't found a real good podcast yet uh, but if someone has uh, ideas, uh, please send them to me. I'm curious. So, Open uh, for suggestions. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. But talking about your CDK uh, experience or so the Cloud Development Kit, like at what point did you feel like, um, yeah, I really love this top uh, topic so much that I want to share more about it to the community? Well, basically, it was um, I think uh, two years back or something uh, when they first announced it, uh, and I was looking into it, and I was like, oh, this could be the next best thing. Uh, already mentioned it in uh, within Oblivion, and it was like, yeah, but cloud formation is better. This, and so we had a bit of a struggle there, uh, and uh, yeah. I also talked uh, back in the days with, I don't know who it was anymore, but yeah, my vision on it is that in the end, everything will be software. So mm -hmm. um, coding will be the best, yeah, uh, the next best thing. Uh, and with CDK and coding, it's it's more combined instead of uh, yeah, YAML cloud formation templates mm -hmm. uh, building. Not saying that you don't that you don't need the cloud formation experience and uh, and IDs behind it, but um, yeah, I I think it was two years ago I I started working with CDK, uh, not really blogging yet, uh, but uh, doing small projects. Mm -hmm. uh, then a client came along uh, in the delivery and packaging uh, area, and there we did the first CDK project. That was really nice, and yeah, from that moment it got a uh, track. Um, it uh, got a real status be, uh, within AWS as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it got picked up here at uh, Oblivion as well. So uh, yeah. yeah, I think most of us use it now. So. Yeah. 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 And how, what are the kind of responses that you've had to various of your blogs? Because you also run your own blog page. Um, um, yeah. So um, I'm not really uh, into uh, keeping in touch with, uh, with the responses. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm just posting it and maybe if I only helps one person, I already feel uh, blessed. Um, but there was um, well, one article got uh, published to a newsletter kind of way in, uh, in LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So that uh, yeah, really blew the, the amount of views. So that was nice and uh, yeah, uh, what's the benefit of that is you got a lot of extra connections uh, mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that, that was fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, people reaching out maybe or uh, yeah. engaging. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and especially with the community uh, builder program, yeah. uh, all the yeah members are connecting uh, on LinkedIn as well. But also, uh, for example, uh, going to reinvent. Uh, 
people want to meet up and uh, uh, yeah, spread knowledge, so to say. So uh, that's nice. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So are there any other blogs or topics that are currently in the pipeline? Some things you're working on? Yeah. So a while ago we. Uh, created a blog post about well, some security topics around uh, around data and I think well one of the things we need to do is to dive into well those topics and do a deep dive on okay but how can you actually solve it or at what aspects do you need to take a look at mm -hmm. um, yeah so and, and the other thing is more like okay uh, there are some cool new features currently generally available like EMR, EMR um, uh, serverless and stuff like that that I also find really interesting so yeah i'm currently looking a bit around okay what should i do but yeah, yeah so there's always enough to to blog about yeah. for sure yeah i can use that blog uh, when it's written uh, from my uh, experience at uh, where i'm uh, hosting the, now the, the client. security and data or yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Both. both both okay well. probably yeah yeah so uh, yeah and for myself uh, well, we have encountered an issue with uh, CDK and the amount of application uh, we are facing now. Um, yeah, it's a problem with synthesizing, and uh, so we're breaking it up in multiple pipelines. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, written a construct for that, and uh, so more the reusability of uh, of the of the software part. Uh, so that would be the next best thing uh, to write up. Cool. Yeah. Looking forward. Yeah. So, what's really like to get into the creative process of actually sitting down and writing the blog? Is there any uh, tips you have maybe for some aspiring bloggers that maybe have some writer's blog? <coughs> yeah. Well, for me, um, when I first started doing some research, I went well depth first. So I, I, I went down the rabbit hole, and then in the end, I it never resulted in let's say a blog post so mm -hmm. what really helps for me is just okay let's first think about okay, what is it that i want to really tell have a few let's say items and then for each of those items just well at least have a bit of information and structure it a bit and and well you go deeper and deeper every time you go over your story so that really helps me instead of going uh well all in first and then yeah. Well, it never ends most mm -hmm. of the time. So yeah. I had the same problem as well. Uh, so now I'm more structured. Uh, I even have a Kanban board with uh, with uh, items I want to blog uh, on. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they they are in the backlog modus, mm -hmm. uh, and it could be that they never get a real blog. But uh, it could also be that they are moved towards uh, investigation and then uh, creating a story around it, and then really blogging it so uh, yeah i'm a more more structured now okay instead of uh wow yeah <laughs> yeah but otherwise i had the same problem as you uh, yeah. it's never finished uh, that way yeah. no. okay and are there any inspiration points that you find online people known in the community or broader in aws that uh, you might have picked up a thing or two from now the thing is with the community builder program uh, so there's also some rooms be using Slack as well. Mm -hmm. There are some rooms um, which are uh, are there for you to say when you have a new blog out, uh, and there's so much content. Uh, so sometimes I oh this is my this might be a good idea, and then the next day it's already been a blog mm -hmm. on it. So then mm -hmm. I'm like yeah okay maybe I should skip that one. So uh, yeah, it's it's difficult to um, how do you say it uh, to to select the right topic maybe yeah sometimes it is find yeah. your own niche or something yeah, yeah yeah and and that's why i try to 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 use the my special source on the experience in the field mm -hmm. so that's always something i encounter so it's 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 uh, legit and not uh, copycatted so um yeah that, that's how i approach it yeah. okay cool yeah or maybe just dive into one of those aspects that's not really let's say highlighted in the other blog posts stuff like that yeah but, uh, because you often see it's well the, the initial blog post of for instance new features it's really just scratching the surface and just diving that little bit deeper might already help some people yeah, yeah. and also the questions which uh, you google because you want to answer for it and you don't find it uh, within the in the first page yeah, no? yeah. Then, then 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 you have a good topic to blog about yeah, yeah. yeah because uh, it isn't answered yet. 
Okay, clear. Well, um, so far, thanks at least for your insights into at least the community builders and uh, yeah, helping uh, at least your uh, fellow uh, bloggers out in uh, maybe uh, setting up their next uh, blog. And, and I want to thank the viewers for sitting through this new episode and uh, stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>